Not just in Arunachal Pradesh, in Meghalaya too, students, former ministers and locals picked up the broomsticks, bamboo baskets and machetes and embarked on a cleanliness drive. Have a look. Apart from our college is that we want to send a message to each and everyone of this state and of the country that we should keep our environment clean. College and we came here to uh, make Shillong clean and clean. As we've seen in many signboards, we've written uh, green Shillong and all that. So yes, we want to make Shillong Former Cabinet Minister Deborah C. Marak also joined in and said that they are planning to clean all tourist spots in a bit to bring back the lost glory of Meghalaya as a very pristine place, a state known for its cleanliness. It is a humble beginning of uh, Meghalaya Green and Clean. Uh, it's an organization. So uh, they, they have uh, taken decision to uh, participate in this uh, Green and uh, clean. Uh, so they are trying to clean up uh, all the uh, tourist sports. So uh, today they have decided to uh, uh, clean uh, this uh, uh, tourist sport uh, till National Highway. So it's a very good gesture. So in fact, they wanted to bring back the lost glory of uh, uh, what is called. Uh, uh, our all uh, culture of uh, cleaning uh, system uh, to the city. Uh. President of the Meghalaya Clean and Green Environment, Joplin S. Sheila, said this is only the beginning and they would take this drive across to the entire state. I am with the General Secretary of Meghalaya Green and Green um, organization out here who has uh, started this campaign uh, to bring back the pristine glory of clean and green Meghalaya. And we are here at Umiam Lake where, as you can see by the side of the road, they are uh, engaged in cleaning the, uh, uh, getting rid uh, of all the litters out here. Uh, hello, uh, Congress. Can you please tell us about this uh, initiative out here? <laughs> then when you look around, you see all the litters. You know, tourists, they come, locals, I'm not blaming just the tourists, even the locals, they come here and then they litter. So what we're trying to get across to the people is stop littering. Don't just clean just your house. So that is what we are trying to do here is like to get across, you know, to get, get across to the people like not to litter. Pro your litter in the back, take it in your car. Go to a proper place where you can dump things and then you throw the it. Or there are lots of dustbins along the way. You can throw in a dustbin. Think the young kids involved from different colleges. Why? I mean, they're so happy to join us because they want a cleaner and greener, you know, state to inherit. So initiatives like these were once an annual affair in the state, but slowly... With the ever-growing threat of environmental degradation, various organizations and students have now taken the onus upon themselves to make the environment around them clean and green and is it not lovely to see. Great example set for one and all. What started as a campaign is slowly turning into a mass movement in Meghalaya. Cleaning of polluted streams and holding cleaning drives, uh, especially on weekend, has become a best thing to do out here for a lot of people. As you can see right behind me, they are happily and very diligently working to uh, clear the street off of all the litter and garbages that are dumped dump here. And all of this just to make Shillong clean and green. With camera person Francis Marbanyang, this is Russian Rai near Umiam Lake in Shillong for Northeast Life.